Hi everyone, I'm in Malia. This is just a quick video to let you know about the Ferro project. I thought it'd be a good idea to explain what we're going to achieve, what we're setting out to do, who we're looking for, and just to give you a general roundabout picture of what's going to happen in Plumstead over the next year. So at present, there is an underpass next to the post office, McDonald's and the bus depot that is underused. A bit of a, should we say, no-go area. People don't like to walk through there. And the council has been given a large grant of money from central government to try and improve what they call the public realm. So I've put forward a social enterprise idea to turn the Petman underpass into a 365 day a year garden by erecting a glass biodome over the top and converting the walkthrough that runs past the bus station and McDonald's and the post office into a parade of small shop units that can be open 24 hours in order to make the space inhabited and loved, used. And by commercialising the space, what we can really do is afford to have it patrolled and policed by private security. That doesn't mean turning people away. That doesn't make, mean making people feel unwelcome because they're homeless or don't have much money. It means ending antisocial behaviour in the area and funding it not through general taxation. I used to work in the Department for Communities and Local Government a long time ago and I learned quite a few things while I was there about how government likes to improve neighbourhoods and areas. I think I can use that knowledge to help us build something that will really put Plumstead on the map and be a draw for people to come to Plumstead to see a biodome, see the Plumstead Pyramid, go inside, have coffee, chill out, see a live band on stage, that sort of thing. Share knowledge, share understanding improve the local area, a meeting point for communities, a general one-stop shop for people that want to make the world a better place. And we can do that without adding money to your council tax. We can do that by working together to come up with a shared vision, a shared dream and a shared plan, and then by implementing that plan methodically. So I am going to lead on the coordination of visions. I'm going to collect visions from everyone that wants to give me their vision, and I'm going to try and mesh them together into something that results in a really win-win outcome.